try that. Can you hear us now? How about now? Mic check. Mic check. Hello, hello. Do we have audio? No. So you, you do have audio? Hey. For having a lot of technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Always seems to be the first fly where we have all the troubles. Oh, that's weird because it's registering that we're getting the volume right now. Yeah, I like that. That's one time. That's going to be good uh, in okay, spring, good too. We'll keep, keep her going there, Sean. It's perfect. That's one time. Thanks for the heads up. Okay. We're back okay. in business? Yeah, we're back. Okay, Woohoo! We're back. Okay. So, here, we're just going to say. Welcome to Friday Night Flies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks again, Sean. You're Thank you, Sean. For helping us out. We got her. Um, so I guess if you missed everything, we'll do a quick recap. It's Friday Night Flies. We're back again. This is the fly we're tying. It is the uh, COD catch-on delivery with a few modifications in there. I stole it from a fly shop in Vancouver um, called Sea Run yeah, Fly and Tackle. Woo! And we're going to get back down to tying it. So what we started off with is a size 2 streamer hook. And I got my green uni thread, ultra uni thread, tied it onto the base. And I've tied it just to the hook point here. <laughs> First step is we're going to go to our pink polar bear. And I'm going to take myself off nice little tail clump here. Don't need too, too much. Snip. All right, so I have my polar bear. I'm going to pull out these short fibers in the back. They're useless. They get in the way. And I'm making a tail the uh, length of the shaft, or the shank, sorry. And we're just going to tie this in right on top. I am going to get rid of all of this here. Let's not make a mess of the shop. All right. So we're tied in here. Make sure it's right on top. Square it up. Square it up. I'm about getting squared up. I need to get myself a haircut. I'm starting to look like that guy off Yukon Gold. <laughs> <laughs> that was an it. All right. So next we're going to be moving on to our rabbit strip here. Yeah. Sean's just letting us know that we've worked the bugs out. Thank you, Sean. Thanks, Sean. Always reliable. You're always reliable, my friend. All right. So... Some of this rabbit strip here has gotten damaged, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm just kind of noticing. Good trick with rabbit is kind of wet the fibers. That way you can get separation. We all heard that joke about the rabbit fur. Because you want to have that stuff flowing over so you get the nice taper. There we go. I'm not going there. You're not going there? So we want that rabbit strip tail, to these fibers to match up with our polar bear at the end. So that's where I'm going to be doing it. A little, little moisture here so I can tack this tail in. All right. So a couple nice firm wraps right where you had tied that polar bear in. So that's your tail. Now we're going to flop this over, do a couple in front, and get it out of the way. All right, um, can I see that fly for a second? It was last week when I tied it. I just got to remember everything. Yep. Hey, do we, uh, I guess we stock. Sean's asking, hold, Sean's asking us uh, if we stock polar bear and uh, what the price is and can he get some. We have white polar bear and it is uh, 11 bucks a pack. 11 bucks a pack. There you go. We do have some. Yeah, we have some. Just in the white, though. All right, so next we're going to do our dubbed body, which is the uh, the olive laser dubbing. Laser dubbing. So we're going to get this worked onto the thread. Internet being intermittent today, I guess. 
we started we started with a bad connection he said we've lost the internet or lost picture again but it'll come back shortly we lost picture hopefully it comes back shortly let's see what the heck's going on here and as we're dubbing up towards the eye of the hook i'm going to create a bit of a taper to it Oh, we're back again, he says. Oh, I should say dub, 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 dub. So as we're working towards the eye, I'm starting to create a bit of a... A bit of a thickening here. You're plugging the fish finder and booked another ice fishing trip just there. Hello. Mr. Mooney. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted some of that white polar bear. I see that already. Let me pick my Yeah, I'm not sure about shipping endangered species fur to them. Can. Can you ship? No. No, I can't. You can't send it to the States. No, I can't. No, it's going to England. My bad. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have to find it down there somewhere. It's not allowed. It's in danger. Oh, so you can't even get it down in the States. No, that's why they lost the bike there. Jeez. Yeah. It'd, it'd have to be like contraband. <laughs> yeah. Here we we got everything. <laughs> everything endangered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good luck with that one. It's hard to get in the states. Okay, can't. Sean, I gotta get back out of here. All right, man. Get back. All right, so we got our dubbing all the way in, and as as per usual, I've forgotten to put in my my eyes, but no problem. We're gonna come in and do that right here. You haven't been drinking, have you? No, I've been ice fishing, and my <laughs> boot just slipped off the the <laughs> rest. I wish we had the, that would be like the bloopers reel. Um, I'm like, sure they saw it. Lives. I'm sure they could see it on their end. Though. Not really. No, not, they didn't see what I got to see. Almost you did. Just piled up right there on the floor. <laughs> almost did a face dive into the hole. <laughs> Alright, so we got our, our eyes on right behind our nice little dubbing Jeez, ball here. Whatever plug you just did, we just booked another tour. Nice. Uh, two tours on Friday Night Flies. That's, that's got to be a record. So this isn't in the material list, but uh, I like to put a little, little bit of pink. you got to keep plugging the Pemberton Fish Finder while you're tying there, Scott. Hey, hey, hey. There's millions that are watching. Oh, there's millions for sure. <laughs> million. In attendance, the phone won't stop ringing. I like it. I like it. So I like to put a little, little gill in there. Hot spot. A little hot spot right behind these eyes. All right. So that's in there. I'm gonna uh, just bring this thread to the front here. I'm gonna do a little bit of picking on the body. You're doing that with a little Velcro strip. So yeah, so I got a popsicle stick that I fashioned with um, Velcro. Where did we get that idea from? That was from Scotty's uh, daughter, Reese, right? She was making those for us. What's that? And then we marketed it. The, pop the popsicle stick? Yeah. <laughs> it says, great one, man. Good save. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, so we got our popsicle stick in there. All right, Sean says, great one. Good save. Did you That's see me bail? Caught you first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got its first victim. All right, so now we're going to uh, fold over our rabbit strip. We're going to be pulling it pretty tight. Um, some people like to put uh, glue in there. I think the glue kind of 
glue, glue oh. like uh, super glue or something. But I think that kind of sense leaves a smell on the fly. Not that all this other stuff doesn't, but so I'm gonna tie it in. Pretty simple little design, Both isn't it? But man, it looks good. Right on, right in front of the eyes. Are you doing a little bit basket today, or what? So, what you and we're gonna get rid of the rest. There we go. So, you could just fish this like this. There are a, a lot of patterns. That's like what a zonker pattern there. But uh, we're just gonna take it to the next level, and we're gonna take some of our green polar bear. And I'm going to make sure that I choose some of these longer fibers because I want it to uh, to reach the back of the fly. So, I mean, if people are, you were saying earlier, mm -hmm. if they're not using polar bear, they're using what? Uh, rhea feathers. There you go. So, it's kind of like an ostrich feather. They're very popular for all the spay flies these days. But uh, that's not another endangered species so that our friends here in the United States of America can tie these flies. Yeah, um, but the, the rhea is quite expensive. I bet it is. No. Yeah. Out of my price range. All right. So I got my green polar bear, and we're going to be tacking this right on the top. I want these these end bits coming right to the tail. So that's about where I want it. I'm going to just clean up this end here. That full tank ready to go. Couple loose wraps, and then pull her straight down, nice and tight. And then let's get that secondary camera ready. I guess I could probably just take the... Uh, All right, so that's what we're looking at. So we're right on top there. Right there. Uh, like move him out and the then the last right little embellishment is our purple angel hair. That's looking pretty sexy, Scotty. Super sexy. It's See, and the whole thing is, though, angel hair is that, you, that once it's been in the float tank, you know it works, right? That's the key. You can take these flies out. I mean, I don't have to wait until I get on the river now for some of these concept ones. I can just and you can and you can connect the things that maybe aren't quite a hundred percent, right? Yeah. So I got my my purple strip, and I'm going to be tying a little wing on both sides here. We don't want a lot of it. It's uh, I got quite a small little bunch here, and we're going to tie it up on an angle, flowing with the uh, with the fly. We really want to keep it nice and tight so it stays on the sides. So I'm just going to clean up that end. Get this tied in right beside. All right. So then what we're going to be doing is just take your scissors and you just kind of go along and trim those fibers. So again, that they're the length of the... Uh, we're going to do them just a little shorter. You want them to be matching the length of your fly. Oh, that's looking beautiful. Okay. So that's my side. Now I'll do your side. That is looking beautiful. This angel hair goes everywhere. It's tough stuff to work with. But it just is what it is. There's not too many. I like it though. Synthetic that doesn't flow like that. All right, now we put a little strip on this side. And again, using my scissors, I'm just going to grab the fab material and on an angle, I'm kind of working it backwards and it'll taper off. We got one loose end at the front. Okay, let's see it pointing forward like a unicorn. Yeah, that one. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, clean up the head of this fly here. You know what, and if you did this in a larger size, it'd be great for pike, great for bass. If you're in areas that does that, Northern Pike, I can see this fly getting a lot. There's a lot of nice flash on it. All right. I'm going to secure all these butt ends or tag ends. Once I 
It'll... Sean says, I saved most of my good spade for uh, sanding flies. Uh, it's taken me time to collect the supplies mm -hmm. for that because most of the birds are not available anymore. That's a good reason to hold on to them, bud. Wow, right at the end of the road. Ah, okay. Let's take care. Breathe. You're not on one of them ruby eyed. Nah, that one's gone. <laughs> Dog gone, ruby eyed. <laughs> That's okay. If you watch okay. Friday Night Flies, you know it'll be like breaking thread. Thing. It's not a Friday Night Flies without it. All right, so we got that. We cleaned it up. Last thing I'm going to do is just do a little bit of a dub head on it. So a nice thin dubbing here. Just using the same stuff that I did with the body. Right up tight to those eyes. <coughs> All right. Whip finish. How much flow does that tank get? Well, that's what I'm saying, right? Like, like, you don't have it really centered all that well in there either. I want to get a bigger pump. I've got bigger pumps here. There we go. With a, what was that? An adjustable flow on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and these little purple bits, if they're some the one on this side's a little too long. How's that side looking? That side's looking fantastic. So that's your finished uh that's your finished fly there. Okay, let's get a piece of uh, mono on that. Let's just see how that should go. So we're gonna uh right here. Where's the fishing line? We're going to take it over there to the flow tank. We'll uh, bring the flow tank this way, Scott. Scotty Holmes. That looks good. Scotty Holmes. Holmes, we're I'm live on the camera way. here. I need a flow tank. Yes, yes, yes. All right. I thought so you guys were... Can you move your buttons? Here, let's go up top here for two seconds. I'm just stick here. A short commercial break here. Scott, dance for us, would you? Dun, 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 dun. This Got is, some fishing this line is where there. You to the, the dent. <laughs> Might want to pull that tube back out of you. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going to use this one. If you can hold that one up to it, I guess, and then I'll just uh, get the focus. Okay. So, yeah, we're just setting up the flow tank here. I guess, you can, I guess if you turn that other camera, you can do an overshot of what we're doing here. I'll just pick it up and move it. Because that's definitely the best vantage point is from the top. From the top? Yeah, because the, the rating's all on the side, right? The flow tank is definitely in need of uh, yeah, a, a real we're, glass tank, but it, we from are the top. Definitely not sponsored by Corona in any means. Yeah, well, I don't, you know, do you see we any Corona? Huh? Yeah. We should be. Yeah. But like any, any, even like cheap liquor of any sort, we'd be pretty cool with it. <laughs> Like if you had some bottled beer, anybody want Shit, home brew? Whiskey, wine, coolers for Christ's sakes. Side okay, well, no, side no, no, no coolers. Okay. I don't care, man. No, I'll take it all. Oh, that thing is dope. Here, let's bring this guy down. Here. This guy, though, is a very kind of hold on to it. So we'll get it right in there. Hold so on, right there. Hold that. You got that one? Yeah. You want to kind of get it. Okay, let's see what we got. Sorry, guys. Bear with us. It's going to be pretty cool here in about two seconds. Okay. I think it's going to see Corona, just though. Slide her down just a sliver. Down, down. That's going up. You're, listen, you're putting sliding down. Not, you got to go down like this. There you go. Hold on, right there. Okay, let's see. Right, oh, we're on the money. Okay, well, there you go. You're seeing the flow tank firsthand. So that's what that fly is going to look like in the water. Doesn't that look sweet? On the swing, right there. There's a lot of movement going on in that. 
That's on the swing. So you think like if there was more power? No, I don't think you need any more power, power than that. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Hey, okay. she's looking pretty darn sexy. Yeah. Anyhow, let's uh, we'll go back up top, and uh, we'll sign up. All right. Whoop! Hi. So yeah, that's uh, Friday Night Flies. That's our COD. Nice, uh, looking pretty. Little flow tank demonstration, so you can see what it looks like. Um, yeah, make yourself your own. It was pretty easy. And uh, I guess we'll sign out. I'm gonna be back to tie another one. Big, uh, nice big shine steelhead pattern. Woo. Uh, Holmes is gonna be up next tying up a steelhead nymph, I believe. Yep. Yep. Got confirmation. Yep. So he says get a ten dollar or a ten gallon fish tank. They're only about ten bucks here. Yeah, that's our next move. This was just our experiment to see if it worked. But uh, again, we live up in the mountains, so it takes a, a trip down to the city for us. It's a three hour drive. Um, so we well, well, next, we're going to get there eventually. Next time we get there, we're coming back with a clear tank so that we can uh, do some proper demos. And we're but gonna have to uh, get another camera somehow. Okay. Yeah, we're going to try and figure a way to do this. So. Thanks for watching. It's Friday Night Flies. Thanks, Sean, for all your technical support. And uh, join us in a shoe fort, shoe fort moment uh, in a few short moments for our next episode. <laughs> Thanks.